Hello everyone, this is Bill. This is Ayush. We're going to be talking about our game today. So, first of all, we'll hit N to create a new seed. We'll enter that seed. So, this is our world. Our The darker tiles are our floors, the lighter tiles are our walls, the white is our character, and the red is an enemy. You can use the arrow keys or WASD to move, as usual. Um, now, Bill is going to talk about um, win ability and score and our vision. So every single the game takes a penalty when you uh, move around and then so every single time when you move your score uh, as you can see right here decreases by one and then every single time you you can press space to shoot a projectile and then every single time you um, kill an enemy you gain 5,000 points so the faster you kill the enemy the higher score you will get. The objective of this game is to get five kills and every single time the enemy gets close to you, you lose 10 health. And when your health gets to zero, you lose. So I'm just going to demo how you can win and lose really quick. So I just kill one. As you can see, my score increases by 5,000. And then the enemy, we, uses, um, we use A-star solver to um, calculate the midpoint between the player and the enemy. And then the enemy will move randomly towards or towards the player. And I just killed it a second time. So it will say you win and then press any key to quit. So we will quit. And now I'm going to restart the game really quick. And then to lose, you just hit. When the enemy gets close to you, you can see the health bar start dropping. And then that's how you lose. And then to make your life more difficult, we have implemented a cool feature called Eagle Vision. So you, you can press V to toggle between a diamond field of view and a circle field of view or the entire game if you, if you want your game to be easy. Also, you can press minus and plus to increase the size of your field of view. And that's basically it. Okay, so in this game, we've also introduced the mechanic of a projectile, which is to say um, a bullet, basically, that we can use to attack the enemy. If you notice, the projectile only moves when the player moves. That is an intention, intentional mechanic that we've added to this game to make it more difficult. Secondly, if you'll notice, if I fire a projectile and then I fire another projectile, the old one despawns. That is also another intended uh, mechanic to make the game more difficult. Um, if you notice further, the enemy um, has pathfinding mechanics that are dependent on the projectile, which we'll get into later. So the enemy has, or the enemy finds its path using a modified version of the A star pathfinding algorithm. We in, we create a graph based on the position of tiles, and we have connections between each of the um, floor tiles, and we don't have connections between any wall tiles or nothing tiles. The enemy takes in this graph and then plots a path using the A-star algorithm. Unfortunately, the full A-star algorithm wasn't time efficient enough for this game and re resulted in 10 seconds between every move. So we've had to create an optimized version of this algorithm that approximates the best path. We do this by calculating successive midpoints and building a path iteratively. Um, we calculate the midpoint between the player's position and the enemy's position. And if that point is a floor tile, we calculate the path between the enemy and that floor tile. If not, we continue calculating midpoints, getting closer and closer to the enemy until we can calculate the path to that floor tile. If the midpoint gets to where the enemy is, we introduce random behavior so that um, the enemy will continue moving even if the there is no path found. If you'll notice, we've also coded in projectile avoidance behavior. That is the project, uh, the enemy will always move away from the, um, uh, the projectile. Um, this is a side effect of the midpoint calculations that only factor in floor tiles as a projectile is not a floor tile and therefore the enemy will not choose to move towards the, floor, uh, the projectile. And uh, yeah, that's basically it.